All right, time for the research montage. Hi, Mark and Cherry. Can you tell me about what your favorite cereal box prizes were as a kid? Well, this is going to be kind of a complicated and possibly long subject, but back in the 1950s and into the early 60s, a lot of cereal boxes had actual toys in them. So what they used to do was, there was one set here, series of American heroes. This is guy's supposed to be Davy Crockett. And then they had another one here in the same series called, I think it's John Paul Jones. So they were primarily adventurous military heroes and stuff like this, but they had a whole series of these and and you'd get one in every box, and of course that was a thing was you keep getting mom and dad to keep buying the boxes to try to get the whole set, and that was part of the deal. And I think this was by Mark's Inc. Company. They're a big toy manufacturer back then. These are kind of the nicer ones. Well, this is a reproduction of another set. This is by Timmy, T-I-M-M-E-E -E Corporation, and this is a reproduction of what they put in their cereal boxes. This guy's supposed to be David Crockett, but you can tell it's not as detailed. It's just a generic figure that they would put in there. They also put army men and everything else in there. Once again, it was the idea of every box, you never knew what you were going to get. And so everybody had to try to get their mom and dad to keep buying everything so they had the whole set and, and everything of, uh, of the box. Well, I remember a different way of getting our toys. It was back in the early 60s, so all through the 60s, if they didn't have a toy in the box of the cereal, they had a big promotion saying, if you send in two box tops or three box tops and you mail it in, and of course back in the 60s, the boxes of cereal were huge compared to what you get for your money now. So my favorite cereal was always Fruit Loops, and my hero was Toucan Sam. So I said, oh, Mom, I got to get that. Oh, I got to get it, but I have to send in two box tops. And they said, okay, all right. And my older brothers always helped me eat all the cereal. That was never a problem. So we got down to it, and I got my box tops. I sent it in, and sure enough, somewhere in all of my stuff, I still have a little plush of Toucan Sam, but that's just an example. And you could just get all kinds of other things. You could get actual larger toys that you could put together, you know, like maybe not Legos, but something that you could actually, you know, fit together and make something. And then for those of, like me, I got my Toucan Sam. And so every time when I was eating breakfast, I had to have two can Sam right there sitting. So he was keeping me company, you know. But I had to eat Fruit Loops. If he didn't see me eating Fruit Loops, he would get very upset. So then I'd have to get something else and eat yep. something else. But anyway, so that was the box top thing. So it made it fun for kids, you know. It just, it's, I wish they could bring that back. But of course, if they do the box top thing and they say, oh, mail in two box tops, It'll cost you probably about a dollar and a half, two dollars just to mail that stuff in. And then the cost of each cereal box is probably about three or four dollars. So it's kind of a pricey thing. You might as well just go to a toy store and just buy your own stuff, whatever, yep. you know, because it's not gonna work. But in the 60s, it worked really well. Yep. Thank you so much for all this wonderful information, Mark and Sherry. You guys were great. Well, thank you, Maxwell. And now Mark and I are going to finish our walk. Enjoy your walk. Maxwell, 
Hey. How's your research into cereal prizes coming along? Well, I've put down some of my own experiences through the prizes we've gotten on CRC Cereal. Mm -hmm. And I've heard some other experiences through two CRC Cereal fans who grew up in the 1950s and 60s. Okay. Right now, I'm looking over some printed articles about the history of cereal prizes that I got off the internet. Okay, cool. Yeah. Is there anything I can do to help? Hmm. Actually, could you take me to the library? The internet is great for finding information, but I wonder if anyone's made a whole book about cereal prizes. I would love to take you to the library. I can teach you all about the Dewey Decimal System. Ooh, awesome. Come on. <laughs> all right. Feel good time. All right, buckle up. Always. The Dewey Decimal Classification System, also called the Dewey Decimal System, is a system for organizing books. It was invented in 1873. That's almost 150 years ago. The system has 10 main categories, and each of those 10 categories have 100 subcategories. And then there are more subcategories in the subcategories. The Dewey Decimal System is complicated and very detailed, but it has to be. It can organize books about literally anything in the world. Books about cereals are found in the main category, Technology and Application of Knowledge, Dewey Decimal 600. That's because cereal was something people invented. From there, you have to look in the subcategory, Chemical Technology, Dewey 660. Then, in the subcategory, Foods, Sugar and Starch, Dewey 664. And finally, in the subcategory, Cereal Grains, Related Processes, and Related Products which is Dewey Decimal number 664.7. Whew! That's a lot of categories. But we found two great books. The Great American Cereal Book by Marty Gitlin and Topher Ellis, and Cereal Boxes and Prizes of the 1960s by Scott Bruce. Success! You've got a lot of reading to do. <laughs> I love it. When I want to learn about something, I want to learn everything about it. And I have a lot of questions about cereal box prizes. I can't wait to hear all the answers you find. 